capturing sound, what are you using? At, at some point, are you lav miking people? Is it, you know, what, 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 like how is this working? My tools are like hammers and nails, okay? I use, I have a broad palette of things, and I, t I, I make selections that have to do with the tonality of the actor, where are we in context with the character, how are we experiencing this character? Is it more of an internal thing? What, you know, wh where are we in the character's arc in the story? So I use all the traditional tools. Um, I'll use uh, a Japanese mic called the Sankin uh, for boom work frequently, and, and Sheps and, and, and uh, Neumanns. And um, I use uh, a Danish uh, lavalier a lot, uh, made by DPA, um, and also Japanese Sankin lavaliers and other tools. Many different mics, that, that doesn't cover it. But um, it's, it's not about technique, it's about context. So I try, I, I do, and I teach on this. I, you need to know all of those pieces and how to apply them, but you need to not lose sight of that the real key tool is the filmmaker. The sound man has to be a filmmaker, just like the cameraman has to be a filmmaker. has to understand the director's intent and the context of the particular situation. And if you um, think in those terms, it creates flow on the set. You're, you're responding intuitively or premeditated either way based on what's what are we doing what's the shot what's the scene where does the scene fit in against the other scenes you know how is the whole piece of cloth going to be affected by the choices I make in this particular moment and they all have to have a um, an integration you know I try not to come with an ideology because the day I come and think I know the whole thing is the day I should quit because I stop learning and I'm not open to what we're what we're really trying to get to happen here um, so I don't know if that, that answers your question, but it's, 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 an, it's a really important piece to me that, that I, I don't come with a preset notion of a pro. So all of those things are true, but it all goes towards the idea of constructing a sound, a mix, um, in the moment that's a lot like playing an instrument, a musical instrument, that keeps us inside that character. That's my threshold. When we watch it as an audience, are you believing that this is this character and they're in this environment having this journey? If everything that we do supports that. So if there's a noise that happens that's unexpected, my threshold is, did it take us out of the scene? Did it take us away from the character? If the answer is no, I'm not as emotionally disturbed by that moment because I know that the core thing is being protected. If it does, then we're in a conversation, Quentin or whoever the director is. Here's, a, here's an exposure, here's a vulnerability. It's, it's sometimes it's just a look, you know, and it's not a big conversation, let's go again. You know, because he does not walk away without having that in the can, period. He just doesn't. He's absolutely, failure cannot cope with persistence, and he is the most persistent person I've ever seen in a director's seat. And I love that, because that's how I feel.